Star Wars has been on a real hot streak lately. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about The Tales of the Jedi, the new Star Wars Disney Plus series that is six short episodes. All of them are streaming right now on Disney Plus. And before I get into this thing, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below your thoughts on these episodes, your ranking of these episodes, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also heads up, I'll be giving you my ranking of all these episodes at the very end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But Tales of the Jedi going into it, very excited obviously because Dave Filoni, the creator of Clone Wars is back and he knows what he's doing with Star Wars animation and he damn sure proves it again here as Tales of the Jedi was just delightful in my opinion. You got six different short stories focusing on characters like Ahsoka and Count Dooku when he was younger pre his Sith era and uh, they did a really great job of constructing this. The first episode starts out the gate with a baby Ahsoka and then it ventures into different episodes. Young Count Dooku being the master to Qui-Gon Jinn. We got some Mace Windu. We even see Anakin training with Ahsoka, a mullet Obi-Wan and a bunch more. So if you are a fan of the Clone Wars series, you will definitely get a kick out of this. I'd have to say the highlight for me of watching through Tales of the Jedi was the fact that I have a new appreciation for a lot of things from the Clone Wars and even the prequel movies. And that was always a big, you know, win for the Clone Wars series itself. But now we have another series of shorts that makes moments from the Clone Wars series even more impactful. Notably, in the Siege of Mandalore arc, there was one episode or short of the Tales of the Jedi that made one line from the last episode of the Clone Wars hit 10 times harder between Rex and Ahsoka. And I was like, damn, Dave Filoni, you're a genius. But by far my favorite aspect of the Tales of the Jedi shorts was the exploration of Count Dooku when he was a Jedi. I've always said for years now, we need a Star Wars series that focuses on young Dooku and seeing his turn to the dark side. And this is probably the closest we're ever gonna get to that because it's three episodes that focus solely on Dooku. And they really painted the picture of his turn to the dark side masterfully in my opinion we see him go on this one mission with Qui-Gon to a village and we can see this anger that is just built up in him and he kind of loses control for a second when he's going off on the senator and he's like people like you need to be eradicated and then he goes on one mission with Mace Windu where he's trying to find out why the certain Jedi was killed and him and Mace Windu kind of butt heads with their differing ideals and we see Dooku is very open-minded to the normal person's point of view instead of the Jedi and I really like how the Tales of the Jedi explores how a lot of Jedi are kind of up their own ass and they view themselves as higher but they like to put themselves on this pedestal as though they or what they are doing is right when in reality they're actually hurting more than they're helping and Dooku kind of realizes that and he's like I don't know if I want to be a part of this. And so a really fleshed out Count Dooku as a character, someone who was already a really well done villain in the prequel movies, but this really added another layer to him. And I can even appreciate the character more when I go back and watch the prequels. And spoiler alert for my ranking of these, my favorite episode was episode four, which fully showed Dooku sort of turning to the dark side. And that's something that I had just been waiting for. And something that this show did really well was it showed events that were simultaneously occurring with the Phantom Menace. So much like in the Siege of Mandalore, when we see Ahsoka, doing her thing simultaneously during the events of Revenge of the Sith, we see Dooku in the Jedi Order, literally as the events of the Phantom Menace are happening. We saw him interact with Qui-Gon and mention Maul, and we even got to see him interact with Palpatine. So there's tons of Star Wars lore that's explored here, and the whole purpose of this, in my opinion, was to add depth to iconic characters, but also just let us see everything through a new light. Like, I I'm gonna view Count Dooku completely differently the next time I rewatch the prequels or even the Clone Wars series, and it also added to Ahsoka, like small little moments with Ahsoka that really hit different. We see her obviously go to Padme's funeral, she has some interactions with Bail Organ, and one of the episodes really showed what was the final factor in pushing Ahsoka to go back into the fight. As we know, she kind of steps away after Revenge of the Sith. So all around, it's super well constructed. The episodes fly by, in my opinion. Dave Filoni is a master of Star Wars. We all knew this, but he just continues to show it here. And the animation, beautiful, just like it is in the Clone Wars. I love how they kind of change some character designs too as time goes by in the actual episodes. Basically, these are just fill in the gap shortened episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars, which is a show that I absolutely adore. I grew up with it. And this essentially just adds so much to Ahsoka and Dooku. But I love the way that this really explored like the morality of the Jedi Council and how they aren't as high and mighty as they see themselves, especially how we got to see the point of view of like villagers and people across the galaxy and how their situation is not great and they don't look highly on the Jedi. It's very reminiscent of like current day politicians and how they think they're all high and mighty when in reality, people don't really love them. I love how Star Wars always has those real world parallels and that is fully on display here. This is a really well done series of shorts. I'd be down for more of these because this is just my cup of tea. I watched it all in like what, an hour and a half? I don't know what the final runtime of all of it was, but it was just a nice 
little add-on to the Clone Wars and added so much to characters from Star Wars. And I have to mention how brilliant the score is here. There are certain callbacks to iconic Star Wars scores. One moment gave me chills down my spine. I was just thinking like, damn, this is from a Star Wars short? We need more Star Wars content like this. This is the proper way to sort of fill in the gaps, and I think other franchises to take notes on this and sort of make their own series of shorts to fill in these little time periods. So Tales of the Jedi is definitely worth watching, super quick and easy, and it fills in tons of gaps. Now, as for my ranking of all six shorts, I will go through it really quickly. My least favorite episode would be episode one called Life and Death. It's about baby Ahsoka. It was fine. It kind of set the stage for the fact that we're going to be filling in the gaps in everyone's lives. My next episode would be episode two, Justice, with a young Dooku and young Qui-Gon, and they go and try and rescue a senator's son. My next one would be episode three, which is Choices, where Dooku and Mace Windu go and investigate the murder of a Jedi. My next episode would be episode six, Resolve. This is one where Ahsoka visits Padme's funeral, and she kind of goes out on her own, and she's in this village, and it's a pretty interesting story. My runner-up would be episode five, Practice Makes Perfect, which sets up the ultimate callback to something in the final episode of Clone Wars. And my favorite episode of Tales of the Jedi is episode four, The Sith Lord. This is by far my favorite. We got a lot of Dooku and Palpatine here, and it fully showed why Dooku turned to the dark side while simultaneously tying into the events of The Phantom Menace. So it was just really well done. It makes me appreciate The Phantom Menace even more than I already do because I'm a huge defender of that movie. But those are just my quick thoughts on Tales of the Jedi. I definitely think this is worth watching. If you're a big Star Wars fan or a fan of The Clone Wars, you will probably love this because I enjoy the hell out of it. But let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below, and let me know your ranking of these episodes for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for future videos. And until next time. I'll see you guys later. May the force be with you.